Hello and welcome back to the channel once again people. It's summer season and we are all stuck at home wearing those boring outfits because we got to stay home to be safe, right? This video is very unique especially for the ladies. How about wearing new outfit without actually buying them? Yes. Do watch this video right till the end because there is a bonus tip in this video. So let's dive in. open up Snapseed. I have created an album where I have all my three elements which I'm going to need. I'll first select the model. I have downloaded this image from the internet and you can also do the same by looking for probably a girl in a white dress or a white dress. I'll probably share this image on my Google Drive and put it in the description below. So now we have the model on the screen. We need to add the texture or the pattern to a dress. Let's go to tools select double exposure add use the pattern now the pattern is all over the screen we need to pinch zoom and get it to the size approximately this much and we are going to use the darken mode over here fine okay now we say okay we simply go to view edits on the top corner. We select double exposure. In the center, we have this icon with a brush. We select that. On the left hand corner, you have this triangle and the circle intersecting. We select that. And the eye icon will be blue. We have this red color overlay which shows us that this nothing has been done yet we say okay fine and we start painting with the finger be very careful when you're painting because we don't want to erase the dress the pattern on the dress we can always recover it that is not a problem but as much as fine tuning is always good zoom in by pinch zooming and this is how you start getting more magnification for getting a proper and precise edit we keep painting unless we have the red part only over the model's dress and not a hand or any other body part. For now, I'm just doing this quickly. Here we go. Select the hands. For hands, the fingers have to be zoomed in a bit so that we don't know we have a nice precision. Painting all over the fingers. On the left hand side, if you see this blue box, with a single finger, you can just slowly scroll it down so that it takes you to the area where you want to paint. And now I pinch zoom so that I can get a complete view. Let's go up here. And uh, here we are painting this. Be careful and paint correct. Here we go. We are removing all the extra pattern from the models. This may take some little time. Now, if you see what happened is on the right hand corner, I ended up brushing out this part of this. No worries, I can go to the arrow on my right, the up arrow and select 100% exposure, zoom in a bit and paint that area back. So it restores the pattern again. To erase the other part, I'll go to the left arrow and I will go back to zero. Because we, I don't want anything of whatsoever on the model. So here we go, I'm pinch zooming here quick edit now I'm just showing you how this happens you need to be a little more precise as you do this this is just a tutorial to actually show you how this works so you may have to work a little more on your own outfit with precision so that you can get the desired result correctly so we are almost there now now what has happened here on her left shoulder we have ended up erasing the pattern no worries we select the right arrow get the exposure to 100 again and just paint this particular portion back so that the pattern is restored over here. I'm teaching you the technique because most of you might end up erasing the place where you didn't want to erase and then you'll wonder how do you go back. Again I'm selecting the down arrow so reducing the opacity completely to 100 for this for so erasing the unwanted part and I say okay here we go. I said back and the model has the pattern all over her dress. 
Isn't this beautiful? Remember the bonus point I spoke to you about? Well, most of us like to wear a tattoo on our body, but we do not wear them because of religious reason, maybe some fear, or whatever reason. So I'm going to show you how you can wear a tattoo on your body without actually having it physically on it. Let me show you how. Now, as I told you all, I have a bonus tip, and we are going to add a tattoo. Simply, what you can do is now to add the tattoo to the model, we will go back we say tools we say double exposure and we say add i have a tattoo here is the tattoo now people remember that when you want to add the tattoo you have to be very careful about the sizing of the tattoo you have to look for a very very small size on the internet and not a big because there is a limit to which you can pinch zoom and scale your images on uh, snapseed it does not allow a complete scale down so look for a very tiny image on google search so that it becomes easy for you to scale and get the tattoo realistic now we play the tattoo on our hand and i want to rotate this a bit so by holding the image uh, with both fingers like how you would pinch zoom i'm just selecting and rotating the image to get the tattoo right here we go almost there now going to the layer option the blend mode i am going to use subtract you can now see the tattoo looking much prominent we say okay don't worry about the girl being cut off we we'll again go to view edits we we'll select double exposure again the center icon with a brush and on the left hand side the circle and a triangle intersecting quick just start painting there is no problem because because we just want a tattoo part on our hand and this this does not really require too much of precision now here we go so what i can do is i'm pinch zooming here and uh, here we go now i have so whatever is in red is the area which is going to be retained on the right hand side i check the tick mark i say okay and go back so it is it's so beautiful and so easy to do people now if you tap the screen this is the before and this is the after this is the before and this is the after so let's export this image into the gallery and there we go it has gone to the gallery please do share your images when you edit and dm it to me on my instagram handle here handle the same as my youtube channel thanks for watching people I really hope people you all enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoy creating it for you. I created this video out of nowhere and in very very less time so that you can learn and enjoy it from home. If you like this video please subscribe to our channel, like, comment, share and be safe. We will meet in the next video soon.